We are live. Just I'll check our audience. I'll get started. My name is Bonnie Sontag. I'm vice chair of the Fruit Street Historic, uh, Local Historic District Commission. Our chair, Morris, um, whatever his last name is, I'm having a blank. Southworth. Southworth, thank you, is uh, unavailable. I'm going to start with the roll call, then I'll go through the agenda, and then we'll get started. Um, Joe Carper. Present. Aileen Graff. Present. Uh, Kevin Wallace, don't know if he's planning to join us, and Bonnie Sontag, yes. Our agenda tonight has one new business item, uh, application for certificate of appropriateness for 3 Fruit Street, where they want to relocate a side door. Uh, and then we just have approval of minutes, so um, we just have the one application to consider. We have a quorum, so we'll move ahead. Um, I'm hoping that uh, Mike Lukens is in the audience, Andy. Yes, and hi, Mike. If you'd like to unmute on your end, you can address the commission. Great. Yes, this is me, Mike, and um, my wife, Elizabeth, is also here. So Great. Okay. Um, we've seen the application materials online, um, but it would... Um, Andy, I don't know if you want to pull up... Yeah, I'll pull up as needed. Uh, uh, Maybe just... Needed. How about the photograph sure. um, of, of the current situation? And then after Mike describes what he's gonna do, maybe the um, uh, illustration with the new door. So Mike, you wanna get us going on this? Sure. Um, so- Oh yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's the best one. <laughs> so right. we're, uh, we're making some changes uh, to our kitchen, remodeling the kitchen. Um, right now, the doorway, so that's the driveway uh, that you see um, with the pavers there. And so currently, um, the door opens right into the kitchen. And so that's the door that our family uses um, the most. This is in the back of the house. So it's, it's barely visible from the street. And we usually have a car parked so right now, if you're entering through that door, you enter right through the kitchen and walk through the kitchen on the way into the rest of the house. And so um, what we're proposing to do is to uh, create a larger single door, move that about six feet to the right um, so that when you enter, you won't actually be entering into the kitchen. That'll also allow us to create more usable space within the kitchen um, as part of the remodel. So what we're seeking to do is to keep everything um, as uh, close as possible to what you would see today. So the, the granite steps would be moved. Um, the, the door will appear exactly as the current door does in terms of the style and materials. The trim uh, would be the same as the current trim. Um, and, uh, and, you know, the, the 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 clabbered siding would um, that would replace the current door would be uh, the same exact style siding and color as as current. So um, what we're what we're seeking to do is to to create an, an entryway that would take you just to the to the right of the kitchen and allow us to create a lot more usable space in inside while um, minimally changing the exterior. Okay, um, members, anybody have any questions for Mike? Um, do you want to have us ask first, or do you want members of the public to comment? If um, we can, we can go either way. Why don't um, yeah? Why don't we see if there's anybody who wants to comment? That's probably a better route to follow, and then we'll come back and uh, chat with Mike. Um, Andy, could you see if there's any member of the public who'd like to speak? Say that again. Is can you see if there's any member of the public who'd like to speak, please? Yeah, uh, folks in the audience, if you'd like to raise your hand uh, using the Zoom feature, you can address the commission. Um, we also have a, a visual slide here for instruction in case somebody needs that. 
If you just raise your hand, you'll be able to address the commission if you have any concerns regarding the application. Uh, not What's seeing any takers, Chair. Okay, then we'll close it. Okay, Joe, now you may speak. <laughs> yeah, I just had a question, um, about, Mike, about the, um, um, is there a storm door that's gonna go over the, that door? Right now, it looks like you have a screen slider or maybe that's a solid glass door. I can't really tell from the photo. It is. It's it's a storm door slider that that's there right now. Um, so we would remove that as as part of uh, as part of the change. It's actually an aluminum um, slider uh, that we 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 typically have that door closed, and we have another door on the other side of the kitchen um, with a screen door as well that we would we would use in the summer if we want to have it open. Gotcha. And then also, um, I'm glad that you have that uh, spec sheet up because I just wasn't quite sure which of the 15 panel or 15 divided glass doors you were choosing. Yeah, it's um, this has been updated a bit. Do you have the ability to turn our um, video on by any chance? It looks like we're not. Um, well yeah, sorry. The, the if you mean your video camera, the audience doesn't typically have that. The panelists do, or the board okay. members. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It does show your name though. So. Okay, so it's it's um, it would uh, be the most similar to the um, it's a it's a solid fur door, so all wood um, with the fifteen glass panels as it is today. So it would be um, the bottom f 37015 u the second from the left uh right there yeah right there Thank you. and it yeah and we would we would paint the the door black so it would match the the current door today thank you yep could i ask a clarification on the storm door so will you have a storm or a um screen door on the new door we we actually hadn't talked about that um to today on the other side which you can't see from the picture um there is a there is a screen door that's a wood door um that uh opens out but the the plan would not be to use a screen door because this is the door that we use several times a day and so um we rather than opening two doors every time we get in the preference would be to open one and not have the screen door there and that would then mean no storm in the winter yes yep okay just want to clarify because obviously if you put something on top of it that didn't allow the the um glass panels to show through, it would affect the look of it, but it looks like it's gonna look the way it looks. Yeah, it would look the way it looks. And honestly, what, what's in place right now with that sliding aluminum door, I don't think is, it, it, that's not great. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I don't love that. So the, this door that we're, that we're planning on getting, actually, I'm not sure if John Kelleher is here, he's doing the work on the house. We're holding off on ordering it until after this meeting, but it's a, it's an eighteen hundred dollar um, door that's all wood and is fully winterized and and uh, and so um, you know from a weather standpoint uh, we'd rather go with a high quality single door than a storm. Yes, Mike, I'm on with you. Oh, hi, John. How you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Mr. Kelleher, did you want to add anything to? Um... What Mike's already said? No, not really. It's the same door that, you know, it's a fur door, solid fur door, 15 light. I mean, with the energy concerns in today, I mean, I'd most likely, if it was my house, put a storm on there, a full light storm, so the grills could be exposed. And I'd have it black just like the rest of it. But for now, he's decided not to. That's, not, that's totally up to him and you people, I guess. Okay. Eileen, did you have any questions? Well, um, 
the only my my only well thank you for touching on the uh, storm door i had the same question storm screen and then but since that's been discussed how about the feature of the lights do they stay intact in those locations yes so right right now actually oh, thank you in in terms of um where the new door would would be it would be like almost um yeah, I do too. equidistant to the the right current the light that's the... one goes this house is like a maze <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, that's right yeah well, this, <laughs> it's right by the bathroom yeah so um the 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 current we're, we're we're proposing to leave the lights where they are so the the light that's currently to the right of the door would now be to the left almost equidistant from where the current door is and then the light that's over on the left actually provides light for the the garage area mm -hmm. over there so we would propose to actually leave the lights as they are today okay that's all for my questions and can you just um andy just showed the slide that shows how far back the door is located along the driveway it's looks like it's pretty well it is i mean i'm Live across the street. It's very far. Yeah. Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could either Mike or John mute your um, mic while you're not speaking because background is coming through? Thank you. So there was a photograph I think Joe's referring to that showed. Yeah, it, it was the view from the, the street car. down yeah. the driveway. It was in the list of um, documents. Uh, sorry, let me just check only because I thought I had grabbed everything. Let me just check and see if there's one that I missed. Yeah. yeah. Is, Is it still? The going to be, I'm sorry. Sorry, is it, was it the... Uh, hmm. The photograph of the current door on... Oh, the, the you know what, I'm sorry. Card. Yeah, sorry, that was in a Word document. That's why I was a little confused. Uh, yeah, some were JPEG, some were Word. So here we go. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So you still have the fence all along there for protection from, uh, visual protection part way up from the neighbor, right? Yes. Yep. 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 Okay. That's helpful. I think just to the, to those who may not be familiar. And, and actually as a, as an aside, we're planning to paint that fence white. So it matches the, the white fence just so people are aware, but yeah. So that, I mean, as you're looking from the street in, like I said, usually one of our cars is parked there, but the, the door would just, you know, flip to the other side of that light that you can see today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good. I, I don't really see any problem with this. Are we, uh, are we ready to vote on it? Um, I'm ready. Uh, yeah, I'll take a motion to approve the application for a certificate of appropriateness. So moved. Okay. Uh, second. I'll second. Yep. And I'll take roll. Uh, Joe. Um, uh, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> Eileen. Yes. And Bonnie. Yes. So it's approved. Thank you so much. All right. Um, yeah. I'll do the paperwork with the planning office um, and you'll be probably notified by them um, when it's filed or uh, recorded. Okay. And then awesome. You yeah. Hey, thank you thank so you. much. Um, yeah. Thanks for, for um, the back and forth leading up to the, the meeting. I appreciate it. I've, I've served on the planning board in Kittery, Maine, the school committee in Newburyport. So I appreciate everybody's board service as well. Oh, well, thank you. And thank you. We're <laughs> we're <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> we're also uh, happy to have a completed application. So I'm glad that you were able to provide all the photographs that Morris was um, asking you for. So that always helps us as well. Yeah, and the right. diagram is really good too. Thanks.
Yeah, all right. Okay. Thank Thanks you. so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. Take care. Okay. Good night. Our only other um, business is approval of uh, draft minutes from June 8th. And Eileen, you weren't there. So um, Joe and I'll take care of this. I need a motion to approve. So moved. And I'll second it. And uh, any discussion? Okay. Um, I'll take a roll call for approval. Joe? Yes. Bonnie, yes. We'll just figure that's approved, even though it's just two of us voting on it. Oh, and Aline will be um, abstain, right? Abstain, sure. Right. Okay. I don't have any other business. Does anybody else have anything um, hanging no. out there that you need to think about? I'm, I know we have a letter to the, um, the residents that um, Morris has been wanting to um, update and, and send around, but I think we have to finally agree it before we can um, send it out. So we'll put it off to the next meeting. Uh, other than that, I don't and have letter, anything. And what does the letter address to the? Uh, the all um, residents have um, have received a letter when they moved in or when we started, depending on whether or not they were already there, about the fact that they are in the district and what it means. I'll okay. send you a draft, uh, the current draft. Okay. So you can see it. But he felt it needed to be updated. And I haven't, quite honestly, I haven't looked at it since June. Um, okay. And we had some differences that had to be, or some additions that had to be added. Um, and so that's why I don't want to do it without him here. And preferably Kevin as well. So okay. um, we'll put that on the agenda when we get our next application, or if we have to meet you know, for some other reason. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. Um, I'll take a motion to adjourn. Uh, so moved. Okay. Second. Second. Okay. I'll take a roll call. Um, Joe? Yes. Eileen? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. Thank you, Andy. We're done. Have a good night. Thanks, Andy. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye.